then Gold Perman so again walk very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> thinking like this, I'll have to fulfill the benediction of yes, it must note down something that the mercy from any devotees and he he chastised chastised anyone, four percent what I told Yes, Mercy and chastisement from a devotee are the same. Same. If it looks like outwardly that he is anger, angry, and he is chastising me, giving a slayer, it is their mercy. Binding Krishna in mortar is the same like Mati Radhik Jasoda is giving will. No difference. So Nal was angry and wanted to punish, but his punishment is also that Krish, he, he had darshan. darshan and mercy of Krishna very easily. And that is why he telling Nang Sukhapo. He is Sukhapo, very easily with the happiness Krishna is. <coughs> Here, Krishna took the mortar and the, all the boys were helping him. So, Krishna does not touch the two trees himself with his body or hands or feet. The mortar which are related to Krishna it touched both trees. So Krishna came, Krishna mercy came from Krishna to that rope and from rope to mortar. And even mortar, he touched both two trees and they became liberated at once. Not only that, they have received the pain. At once, boys were so much but nice. upset. I said, what happened? Trees has fallen. But they have not fallen down on Krishna. Fortunately, they were in this side and this. And so much noise. Loud noise came. As if thunderbolt has fallen anywhere. All Prajvasi, Jasoda, Nanda. Upananda, all were astonished. They ran towards the sound and they came on the door of Nanda Baba and they saw that tree, five big, big trees has fallen down. And Krishna is doing like so here with so many boys, Dham, Siddham, Madhumangal and all that. And they were seen looking like this. What happened? What? Hmm? When Krishna saw that Nanda Baba is coming running towards me, again he began to be loudly. Up till now he has was help, uh, um, loudly laughing, <laughs> joking with boys, but there was sign of sweeping with kajal, black bond here. Yeah. Now he began with Father, Father, Father. Right? Tears were coming now spontaneously. And his stomach was <laughs> here also. Terry was there. And the necklace was <laughs> when was he was Krishna was weeping. Oh so beautiful. That what name? He has done. He has prayed Namami Swara. He wants that this weeping Krishna should always be here. 
कंट्रोल बाय जस होता है इज प्रेलिंग लाइक दिस सो टू वेरी ब्यूटिफुल यंग डेट इज केम फ्रॉम दैट एंड देन ऑफ कृष्ण फोर टाइम्स एंड मेड सम प्रेयर्स एंड बाय द ऑर्डर ऑफ कृष्ण and having the mercy of krishna that at accepted you like my das advance you should go to golok vrindavan and there we will be by personal singer singer there in the council of nand baba and gopis and they became madukanta and deshmitakanta For all the eternally they were given this chance, like a friend of Krishna. And here, when they went away, then Nand Baba, running came there. What happened? Trees hmm? has fallen. Why they fallen? Perhaps Kansa has done something. He has sent demons to kill Krishna, Maisha, because he is doing like so. He at once came, running and took Krishna in his laps. Was by telling to Nand Baba, Baba Baba Baba, like this, tamarind tamarind broken language. Broken language. What is called tamarind? Tamarind. Tamarind. Baba Baba. Krishna touched the trees, and at the same time, two. Two, two, two. Big papa papa personality. <laughs> and they, they cannot utter this word like me. Sarkam. Circumambulate. I cannot. So boys are not uttering like. Sha 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 like this. But Nand Baba was hearing all these things, but he did not believe. Then he very gently was stroking the ears of Krishna. My dear child, who painted you like this? Oh, and that time Krishna was waiting. <laughs> And he saw from distance that mother is standing there like a statue, no life and soul there, like only dry wood, no tears at all. Everything has gone. He was like dead. If Krishna was dead, then what happened? Why I did so blunder? Now he becomes senseless, only standing there. Roni, Maya, and others were taking care of Maya and Jeshu. He had no tears at all. All were dry. Nand Baba asked, "Who did so?" Again, again. Then he weeping told, "Ma, ma, 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 ma." In the ears of Nand Baba, "Ah, who? How cruel she is!" I never thought that she will be so cruel <laughs> to find like this. Hmm? Now he <coughs> took some laddu from his pocket <laughs> because he always used to keep it for yes. Krishna. <laughs> so he gave two laddus in two hands of Krishna, <coughs> and anyhow he. I'm sorry to not. Very, very easily. Not easily. Not easily. It was very hard. Very hard. Hard. Because Jashoda is superior to Nand Baba in loving Krishna. No? So, anyhow, he tried and he untied the knot, and then he said, "Who bandaged you?" Then Krishna sold the antelope very slowly. Slowly, that mother who untied 
father, you Baba. But now he was somewhat pacified. But he still so even this was <coughs> Nan Baba shot towards Joshua in a very anger. Joshua shot. He is thinking of, I am not dying. Hmm? Nanda Baba took Krishna and Baldev, both Baldev up till now he has come. And he took here and here on his shoulders. One soldier, Krishna and another soldier. And he went to Brahmandagat to take bath. He took bath, now it is more than twelve or one or two. He took bath and he returned to his home. But two boys were with Nanda Baba there on the courtyard outside of the palace. Jasoda Pithar, all Sakis went to the palace. But today is no preparation, no cooking, nothing. Easily it was it had become at about two, three, and now Nand Baba is so angry, so nothing was done. Yasu Baba is bending, <coughs> repenting and repenting. All were like so, so nothing cooking. Nand Baba took some mishiri, mishiri you know, sugar candy, sugar candy. and he took Krishna and Baldev to any very beautiful sweet cow and he began to do like this. In, in the pot like their mouths. <laughs> have you done some anywhere like this? Yes. You have tested? Yes. So he took like this. When we were very little boy, we are two brothers. My father used to give milk like this in our Five, six, ten, like this, and after that he used to be. So Krishna and Baldev, they took that sugar candy and milk. And when they were satisfied, he came to again to his courtyard, in, to his, not palace, out of palace, in India, <coughs> not like here, all will be in one house in different rooms. But in India, outside men, men uh, and female will be in other apartment. So Nanda Baba was in his council, but today is so grave. It became about six, seven, sun, shatter. Now it was coming night. Aroni Maya, and the wife of Upananda, the elder brother of Nanda, all were assembled. And they took with Baldev with them and went to Nanda Baba and Krishna. Very gently and love and affection, Rohi Maya told Krishna, Why? You should come to your mother. She is waiting. Krishna, no, no, I will not go. Where you will sleep? I will sleep with my father and Baldev with Dada. Dada Baldev. What you will take? What father? My father will give sugar candy and cow <laughs> <our> milk. <laughs> she sent Baladev to catch hold of Krishna and to drag. It was so he went and he took Baldev in his hand, uh, Krishna. But today Krishna more strong. more strong and she did something that Baldev Prabhu fell flat there. And he was looking, oh, <laughs> he is so angry. <laughs> then Rani Maya told that, you will not go to your mother? No. Then he discovered a way. 
The Brijbashi knows so many tricks. <laughs> if you are not going, any your mother will be what? This meaning? Expired. If your mother will expire, expire, and he will die, then all hearing this Krishna began to be mother, 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 <laughs> like hands, like mother, mother, mother. Nandava began to weep, Aruni Maya began to weep, Krishna was weeping, Baldev began to weep, all they are assembled. All's heart had melted and all began to weep. At once Krishna went in the lap of Aruni Maya. Aruni Maya took Krishna to her mother where he was sitting like a statue and gave Krishna in her lap. And Krishna took her breast, breast just so that it covered with her pelt. And now she was bitterly weeping. So bitterly. Like a river when dam is broken. Okay. What has come so strong? strong. So now, like a current, just so that we can weep so bitterly. After some, Krishna was also weeping, all their weeping. Anyhow, Rani Maya, consort, what? Consort. All. And then he himself went to kitchen. Cook room, kitchen room, and he very briefly he made anything, he or anything. And then, after that, Nanda Baba was called that you should come to take prasadam. He came. Krishna and Baldev sat here on the laps of Nanda Baba. Nanda Baba is telling, have your mother taken anything? First go and give to the mother, your mother. Then I will take. Then mother began again weeping. <laughs> He told to Krishna, your father will take, you will take, then I will take remedy. Then Krishna again came, his father gave some prasadam to the mouth of Krishna and Baldev. When well, they were satisfied, he took something and kept so much a remnant for Yasoda. And when they came to out of room, then Yasoda with her all sakis took that prasadam there. And everything again. But Krishna love was renewed. Krishna has now new life. This is the love and affection of Yasuda more than Nanda Baba to Krishna. Though he told that I will not go, but he cannot leave without her mother. So her mother love and affection to Krishna, to his son, is like his uh, Come and enjoy it. Low kiss. But it is so hard. Here Sri Devu is hmm? explaining how we should think that Krishna is my son and how we should love Krishna. And then you can realize something, a spark of Gopi's love. My lecture is but not complete. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to tell about something of Gopis. But I have no, no you know. So if you will call me and drag me here future in future, next year <laughs> then I will I can tell something about Gopis. But you should know that this is the object, Gopi Prem is the object of our, all sadhan and all things. Go Brahman. Srinagurdev Ki! Kirtan. Oh, you should be, oh, yes, yeah, Ram, Ram. Yes. You should begin Kirtan in the same time, they will be ready. A drama is going to be. Yes, sir. Be ready very soon. Yeah. Yeah.
Srila Gurudev and all the assembled Vaishnavas. The new Braj theater troupe, <laughs> along with a few new faces, humbly presents the drama Arjuna Kidnaps Subhadra. <laughs> Arjuna to go on this voluntary exile for one year. 
It was nearing the rainy season. Arjuna's travels were coming to an end. He decided to spend the winter months in Dwarka. Arjuna thought of Subhadra, sister of Krishna. He had heard so much of her beauty and wonderful qualities that he had fallen in love with Subhadra without ever having seen her. Not wanting to be recognized, Arjun disguised himself as a yati. <coughs> with matted hair and his body covered with holy ashes, Arjuna went to Prabhasha Tirtha. He walked about the streets of Prabhash and that night sat under a banyan tree. As it began to rain, Arjun thought of Krishna. He wished that his friend would come and help him. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. My Lord, why are you laughing? My cousin Arjuna has been on tear theatre, and now only four months remain. Now, his heart filled with thoughts of Subhadra. He is at Prabhash. It is the thought of him sitting under a banyan tree in the pouring rain that makes me laugh. I will go and welcome him to Dwarka. <laughs> Krishna went to the tree where Arjun was sitting. The meeting of friends was very tender. Krishna asked Arjun all about his wanderings, and Arjun related everything to him. So, these travels have had such a sobering effect on the great Pandava that he has renounced the world and taken to Kishaya. My lord, you know the innermost thoughts in my heart. You know why I am wearing this attire. You must help me to win the fair Subhadra. Nothing would please me more than to see my dear sister as the wife of my dearest friend. <laughs> The Lord of the Yadis, Sri Krishna, took Arjun to Raivataka Hill and asked him to spend some time there. Then Krishna returned to Dwarka. A few days later, there was a feast on the hill. Many Krishnas came to spend some time there. As they walked by, suddenly Arjun's eyes were arrested by the beauty of a woman who passed. She was surrounded by her maids, and his eyes expressed all the feelings in his heart. My friend, your expression does not befit the attire you are now sporting. Please, do you not tease me? Who is she? She is my half-sister, Subhadra. If you are interested in her, I can tell my father about it. My lord, I leave it to you to solve this problem of mine. I love your sister. I must marry Subhadra. My dear Arjuna, there are many kinds of marriages, but the most wonderful of these is a marriage of two people in love. If you can make my sister fall in love with you, then you can carry her away to Indraprastha. Now, go and sit in meditation in the temple courtyard. The rest will follow, and do not lose your nerve. <laughs> Arjuna did as he was told. Krishna lost himself in the crowds of Vishnu heroes. The worship in the temple was over. Coming out of the temple, Balaram saw the yati. He was greatly impressed by the personality of this young yati, who looked so pure and unearthly with his handsome face and body covered with holy ashes. Actually, Arjuna was very nervous, afraid he would see through his disguise in a moment. <laughs> My fair yati, Welcome to Dwarka. May we know your plans? Where have you come from? What can we do to make you comfortable? I have traveled all over the world. I have seen many places. But now the rainy season has come, and the sky is dark with dense rain clouds. I will spend these four months here. This yachty has graced right atop the hill with his holy presence. He will be spending the, his spending the rainy months here. Please suggest a place for him to stay. When you, my elder, are present, it is not proper for me to speak. Okay. I feel that the best place for him to stay is in the gardens of Subhadra. She can see to his needs. 
Young girls often attend to saintly persons and receive great benedictions. I do not think it is advisable to let him stay in such close proximity with our Subhadra. We know nothing about this man. His body looks too beautiful to have been under severe austerities very long. He seems endowed with qualities sure to charm a young girl. I strongly disapprove of your suggestion. But you are the wisest. You must consider everything and then make your decision. Krishna, you seem ignorant of the greatness of this yakti. He has traveled all over the world. He is a brahmachari with all of his senses under control. You should beg his pardon for saying such things about him. <laughs> Krishna, you will take this yakti to the apartments of Subhadra and make all necessary arrangements for his comfort. Krishna was very pleased. He took Arjun to meet Rukmini and Satchabhama. Then he took him to Subhadra. Krishna told her the instructions of Balaram, then left Arjun in the care of Subhadra with a parting smile of teasing amusement. <laughs> Arjun has spent many happy days in the gardens of Subhadra. She followed her brother's command religiously. Arjun's love for her increased day by day. Sometimes he would look at her and sigh. She could not understand his happiness and would go away. In the city of Dwarka, Arjun has a household name. Elders bless their children by saying, May you become as great a warrior as Arjun. Young mothers were told, May you give birth to a son like Arjun. Subhadra had heard from Krishna and Gada of his wonderful <coughs> qualities and his personal beauty. She, too, like Arjun, had fallen in love with him whom she had not seen. One day, Subhadra asked the Yati to tell her about his travels. Arjun was only too glad to do so. This became a daily routine. He was eloquent, as Krishna had warned Balaram. She spent many hours in his company, listening to his charming voice. In your wanderings, you must have been to Indrakasa. My aunt Kunti lives there. Her sons are the main idols. Yes, I have met the sons of Pandu, and I know them well. I hear that Arjuna has been away from Indrakasa. He, like you, must be traveling all over the world. Have you, by chance, met him during your travels? Oh, yes. I have met him. In fact, I know where he is at this very moment. Well, I will tell you, Arjuna has fallen in love with the most beautiful woman in the world. To get her, he is wearing the garb of a yasha. He is here before you. How is it that you have not recognized him so far? <laughs> Subhadra's face became very red. She looked down, not daring to meet Arjun's eyes. He told her of his love for her and said he could not live without her. Subhadra listened without speaking a word and then went away to her chambers. Knowing all these events, Krishna sent Rukmini to serve the Yati. I'm sorry you're not pleased with my coming. Subhadra is ill and no one can cure. Subhadra had become sick. Sick with love for Arjun. <laughs> Fortnight. 
Krishna managed to spend a few moments alone with his dear sister Subhadra. He told her that the Vrishnis were going away. He said, Twelve days from now is an auspicious day. I think that will be the right day for your wedding. Then, the master of all mystics, Sri Krishna, went away with the others. Twelve days later, Arjun approached Subhadra. Your brother Krishna has already told you that today should be the day of our wedding. Today I will realize my heart's dearest wish. We are Kshatriyas. We are allowed the Gandharva form of marriage. Do you agree to this? If you want to agree, I will carry you safely away to Indraprastha. Please find a suitable chariot and equip it with various weapons. Subhadra prepared Krishna's chariot, which he had left for the sole purpose of helping Arjun. She went and told Arjun that it was ready. Arjun, dressed in princely robes, ascended the glowing chariot with Subhadra. With a crack of the whip, Subhadra started the horses. The watchmen of Dwarka city saw Subhadra being carried away by some Kshatriya. They were unable to stop the chariot's progress. The warning signal was given. Hearing it, the Vrishnis returned, headed by Balaram. My lord, we have been defeated by a royal who kidnapped our Shubhadra, <laughs> who slew some recognized as Arjuna, the Pandava. <laughs> Krishna, you are silent. You must, this must be your doing. How did you allow this to happen? I allow this to happen? No, forgive me. But I was the one who warned you not to let those two beautiful young people together. I knew something like this would happen. But you would not listen to a word against the Yati. Forgive me, brother, but this is all you're doing. Krishna, I know you. You must have had a hand in this. But even now, it is not too late. We will sit out in pursuit of Arjuna, and I shall destroy him along with Indraprastha. My dear brother, it is not right that you are so angry. Let us consider what has happened. Subhadra accompanied Arjuna willingly. She equipped my chariot and drove it herself. And what other better man could we get for her than Arjuna? After all, he is the most powerful in her world. Please, consider all these things. Let us make peace with him. Yes, Krishna, you are right. We will make preparations for the journey to Indraprastha. <laughs> Arjun sent Subhadra ahead to meet Draupadi, who was immediately charmed with Subhadra. They spoke for a long time about Krishna and Dwarka. Soon Arjuna entered the city. After greeting his brothers, he went to Draupadi. Later, the Vrishnas arrived at Indraprastha with costly gifts and precious gems as a dowry for Subhadra. They all happily ce celebrated the marriage of Arjuna and Subhadra. Aroma. Um. 
most, but my heart will pleasant to you. And Baldev also played the role very well. <laughs> very good. And also, more, uh, my heart will blessings to you all. Have Krishna prayed like gopis. <laughs> I cannot give anything. I want me. My heartly blessings to you. Gaur Praman.